Greetings, Chikarme, and welcome to your podcast to go I'm Mike Quackenbush, director of fun here at Chikara, ready to prescribe to you another dose of Chikara goodness. Today on the Go-Go, we're going to flash back to May 23rd, when we opened up the doors of our brand new Wrestle Factory to the public for the very first time. And we hosted a live event there called Back to Skull. We're going to take a look at singles action from Back to Skull, and we're headed back to the Wrestle Factory. In the month of July, we've got a free workshop open to the public. It's called Intro to Pro Wrestling. And you can register for this over at thewrestlefactory.com. And then we've got another live event headed there in August. August 15th, we'll be back at the Wrestle Factory. But for now, let's go back to Skull and watch Mr. Touchdown take on Kevin Condren one on one. There's the bell, Kevin Condren already starting things off, trying to get inside the head of Mark Angelicetti, but Mark Angelicetti came out here. I don't want to say like a bull in a china shop, but he is amped up and ready to go to take it to Kevin Condren here tonight. So Kevin Condren say, follow the rules. I don't know when that's ever been Kevin Condren's concern. I guess other than when it suits him. These two outstanding young athletes. This is their first singles competition. Oh, he just put that kneecap of his right to the face of Kevin Condren. We saw Condren try to put one over on Touchdown's tag team partner, Dasher Hatfield in North Carolina. Whoa. Wow, with one hand in the armpit, he just beeled him out of the corner. We talked before about the strength of uh, Missile Assault, and, but uh, there's nothing deceptive about the strength of Mark Angelizetti. You look at him and you're like, yeah, that's a strong dude. Both these guys take a lot of pride in their physical appearance. I'd say the power advantage here goes to Mr. Touchdown. Uh, he's certainly renowned for the trains for power as opposed uh, to for cosmetic reasons. I was going to say, Kevin Condren calls himself the most camera-ready wrestler in all of uh, professional sports. Is that right? He certainly does. Uh, he calls himself that. Uh, yes. Oh, and I was actually about to say, you said that Angela said he trains and, and gears himself toward more of a power game, of course. But when it comes to smarts, when it comes to deception, when it comes to, you know, and again, not to take a page out of the playbook of one of the other, uh, <laughs> out of the page of Ultramantis Black, but deviousness in Kevin Condren. He is going to do everything that he can to take every shortcut that he can. And uh, I know the remarks that you made to Kevin Condren on a recent podcast at GoGo, -Go, he took much offense to. And I think that's probably why at the beginning of the contest, he's like, oh no, touchdown, let's play by the rules. Looking right at you when he said it. Will be interesting to see here how Kevin Condren does when he follows the rules because he is an accomplished wrestler. He spent a lot of time training. Uh, it's not as if uh, this is a guy who couldn't make it through the regiment of the curriculum at the Wrestle Factory. Uh, he's a graduate of the Wrestle Factory, so it's not as if his wrestling acumen is in question. Uh, but the way he plays the game, on the other hand, wow! Uh, right there, you saw him unload a couple really vicious knees. Uh, easily frustrated Condren here. Oh wow! Touchdown there, muscled him up and accelerated him down into the mat with authority. This has been a surprisingly physical contest given the fact that generally speaking, as you said, Condren prefers to outsmart instead of outwrestle. Well, outsmart and outrun more like it. We saw the match that he had in North Carolina against Dasher Hatfield. He spent most of that time sprinting away from Dasher Hatfield. And you see, look at this, taking the time. He's going to go back and watch this on Chikara Topia and freeze frame that exact moment there where he stared lovingly into the camera, I'm sure, is Condren. 
Well, right now it is Kevin Condren dictating the pace of this match to the more experienced Mr. Touchdown, Mark Angelosetti, former Young Lions Cup champion, one of just a handful of athletes who never lost the cup but forfeited every year when the new tournament comes around if they've not lost it. Wow, great looking side backbreaker there. It's a little bit different than the pendulum backbreaker. The side backbreaker, sometimes called the rib cracker. Very, very painful. You put that right at the bottom of the floating ribs for maximum impact. That's just what Kevin Condren did. Nice forearm shot there by Condren. Getting ahead of steam, here he comes. Big forearm shot in the corner. Angela said he pulls him out into the center of the ring. Taking his time though, not going for a cover. Maybe letting this crowd get a little bit inside his head. Side headlock here. Kevin Condren, jaw jacking a little bit with the audience. And I would think, you've got an advantage over an athlete the caliber of Mr. Touchdown. You better press it while you've got it. That's right, I've said it before on commentary. You have the advantage, use it to win, and then yell at the crowd when you're done. Don't do it in the middle of the, you know, don't count your uh, chickens before they're hatched, as it were. I was going to say, up until about this last 45 seconds or so, Kevin Conrad's wrestled an excellent match here. Uh, I do think that giving Mr. Touchdown a breather is a real, real mistake. Once again, he's got a headlock. You see he's really grinding it up here. Swift, look at this switch. He's on the right, he's on the left. He's really grinding up. Mr. Touchdown's had enough. He rolled him up, but not enough pressure on the shoulder blades to make it work. Oh, wow. Thunderous clothesline from Condren there. Not going for the cover, though. What was he looking for? Oh, he's trying to dig his thumbs into the pressure points there. He's trying to feel around there. There's two pressure points there on the side of the neck. And you can see he's reaching for him. I don't know. I think he, if you can't get him, and you may not be able to on a guy with muscular tra uh, traps like Mr. Touchdown, you may not get to that pressure point. Well, either way, he gave up the goat there, and he decided to change it up to a modified Japanese stranglehold. Yep, you're right. Full stranglehold here to Condren. Negotiating his way out is touchdown, and it's a power move to get out of this one. That's not leverage. That is pure power to come out of that fans. Wow, Condren went behind, used the full stranglehold, and accelerated him into the mat. Condren now stalking his prey. You can see here, he's really thinking about what he wants to do. Well, I don't know if that's a good move. You're talking about a guy with the temper of a Mr. Touchdown. Kevin Condren here, not especially known for his high flying. Maybe he's gonna show us something new, Leonard. And be careful of those ceilings there again. He's taking a lot of time though. But oh, wait a minute. Oh! He almost had like a smile on his face when he saw Touchdown get up, called him in, but Touchdown's now in control. I, I don't know what the game plan here of Kevin Conrad is at this point in the contest. If it's conditioning that he's looking to test of Mr. Touchdown, he's gonna lose that test, is Conrad. Yeah, you want a long fight. Mr. Touchdown's in for the long haul. There's no getting around that. You can tell he keeps himself in supreme physical condition, does Mr. Touchdown. Oh, he's got him. All the way around in the Quebradora, the 360 Mexican backbreaker, the Quebradora. Great flurry of offense here from Mr. Touchdown. The complexion of the match has completely changed in the last few seconds, fans. Knife edge chop as he's continuing his offense against Kevin Condren. Condren ducks underneath, he hangs on. Oh, he brought the elbow up right at the last possible second. Touchdown. Oh, very similar to that move we saw him do earlier out of the full stranglehold there. He went right behind, threw that right around the neck there. Horse collared him to the mat. Now the referee putting the count on both men. Touchdown is taking a lot of punishment in this contest, but in just the last few minutes, Touchdown has really turned it on against Condren. Now both men, opposite sides of the ring, pulling themselves up to their feet. Oh, he caught him. Ran him backwards like a tackling dummy. Backflip from Mr. Touchdown. Oh, he just spiked himself into the middle turnbuckle. Mr. Touchdown looks like he's half out on his feet. Good grief, look at that, that spike DDT. with DDT. Mr. Touchdown is out. Wow, a huge win for Kevin Condren via the DDT here at the Wrestle Factory.
There you just saw the intense collision between Mr. Touchdown and Kevin Condren from the Wrestle Factory back on May 23rd at Back to Skull. And we're coming back to New England in the month of July. We're gonna be in South Windsor, Connecticut and Providence, Rhode Island. Advanced tickets are on sale right now over at ChikaraPro.com. If you wanna join us for our free intro to pro wrestling workshop at the Wrestle Factory on July 5th, Go to TheWrestleFactory.com and make your reservation today. And we'll see you there July 5th. We'll see you July 25th and 26th up in New England. And I'll see you back here next Monday with another edition of Podcast A Go-Go.